my name is Rose Smith and I'm here to talk about the 2019 Virgo horoscope. Hello lovely Virgos. Okay you've got quite a good year coming up uh, overall lovely Virgos so I'll just quickly go through uh, some of your major influences and in January we start the year with quite a bang because we've got two eclipses on the 6th and the 21st of January. So these are likely to affect you in your 5th and 11th houses. The 5th house is all about romance, love, fun, leisure and pleasure. Okay and there's a fair bit of creativity in with that as well. So this eclipse is going to uncover things that need to be illuminated so that your creativity can really spark some of you may find that you start small businesses from your hobbies or your interests, so that's really good news. The uh, 11th house is all about your friends and groups and your hopes and dreams. So uh, you might find that you connect with new people and some of these will have overseas connections. So if you are in business, you might find yourself dealing more and more with people that are in other countries, okay? So to give you a brief rundown of the planets in your houses, the main planets. So we'll start with Jupiter and it's in your fourth house of home and family. This is a really uh, lovely type of influence. So in 2019 you can expect some sort of increase in your family home. Now this is more likely to be with uh, your family members but it could also be renovations or you get a second property somehow. But uh, to do with your family there might be a new baby in the family or an adult child moves back into the home or perhaps even somebody who was like a child comes into your home to live. Okay, so it just is a time of celebration and uh, the energy around your home and family gets larger. Anything to do with Jupiter gets bigger. Okay, so if you're preparing the meals in your family, then uh, do be careful if anybody has a weight problem because Jupiter does really help people put on weight. Okay, so the uh, next influence I'd like to talk about is Uranus in your ninth house and that's to do with the higher mind and travel and wisdom and philosophy those sorts of things okay you could find yourself doing a uh, course of study and particularly to do with your work this year or your new business you might be really studying up a lot to try and find out the best way to do things and there's also overseas connections and you might be traveling and you might be studying and traveling simultaneously Okay, our friend Saturn and also our other friend Pluto are in your fifth house. So this is to do with your creativity and romance and fun and leisure. And uh, you might find that you have the compulsion or you feel compelled to do something romantically or in your free time. And for some reason there's a like a block or a challenge or some sort of obstacle around it. So I say to you, ask yourself if this is your true heart's desire. And if it is, I encourage you to keep going with it because eventually Saturn will move on and uh, you would have learnt a lot as a result of what's happened. So if you feel like you're really meant to do it, do it. Okay, Pluto's a very karmic planet, so it could be things from the past coming up and people uh, that you've had connections with other past lives. Alrighty, and the last one that I'll just talk about briefly is you have Neptune in your seventh house. Okay, this is all about uh, committed relationships and partnerships in business or other types of partnerships. So Neptune in a relationship uh, in this configuration gives you lovely feelings and it can really boost uh, the um, relationship uh, and it goes to a much deeper level. Uh, so it feels really beautiful and you can just feel it's kind of throbbing through your body. Uh, the other side of it is, however, that, you know, sometimes delusions happen and confusion. So you have to be very clear in relationships with this. You've had it 
in your chart for a, a number of years now and there's still a long way to go with it so it's not something new that you're not aware of okay this is this is something that's been going on so I'd just like to uh, thank you all for watching and I wish you a beautiful new year and a, a wonderfully enlightening time in 2019 thank you for listening